Round two, heat number four is just getting started. Tatiana Weston Webb in the lineup wearing the red jersey. Bronte McCauley in blue as a wild card call up in this event. Obviously, the same formula here. Tatiana Weston Webb will kick things off on her right, featuring a couple of backside snaps to get on the board over Bronte. in the sport of surfing where think about a surfer how many times they get to try something over and over again to get it down perfect in a wave pool you can just repeat the same trick just like skaters do as we look at a whitewater section delaying Bronte McCauley for maneuver she's forced to kick out Tati's first wave pots in at a 5.33 yeah I'm, I'm really interested in, in where they're sitting at the moment they're surfing a right hander that's running into a deep channel a little bit more to the north. Let's have a look at Bronte's wave. Sorry, this is Tatiana's wave. Nice finishing turn right there. And uh, as you said, 5.33, so mid-range score. Tati's got hers pretty quickly last season here at France as she's race tracking this left right out front. A little power jam, but she's down. That one's going to go underneath her 5-3-3. She's already figured out the way to win with her U.S. Open title. Coming to event number four in the world. Now our wild card, Ronti McCauley digging in. Two snaps oh. down the line and she falls on that second decision. Dad's not going to be happy with that. I know it's uh, super early in the morning back home, but uh, I'm sure Dave is up nonetheless watching. A couple of sets coming throughout the back. Bronte needs a 3-8-4 to take the lead, so still not a major score. Winding up for a big first turn is the wild card from Western Australia. Another fall on the inside corner. Tatiana Weston Webb will get the roll in further down the line. Squares up beautifully, nice and vertical. Into the flats now. She wants to hang in there because she started off with such a brilliant turn. What a solid athlete in Courtney and Tyler trying to create history. We get a new name on the champions list. Tatiana Weston Webb attacking the lip. Still has a ton of speed. A little setup work, not finding much on the inside. Bronte's last 3.0. Weston Webb's last of 5.0. So McCauley needing the 7-3-3 to take the lead. Packing a solid one at Cloud Break. As you knew, she was going to one day just completely take over. Backside float, she'll stomp that one. Now she's got some room to move. A couple of fading turns to stick to the power source. This inside section's been a little bit tough to connect. Tati is able to force one off the lip, and she'll try to better a 5.0. Yeah. That left that she sort of connected it to came from quite a distance, so it's going to be interesting to see if on the way back out she sort of sees that left and decides to maybe get a couple of those little beautiful reforms. It's coming all the way through. Things can go wrong and you've got to be able to hold all those emotions at bay. 20 seconds remaining for the wild card to try to survive. Paddling with intent to create a moment for herself. 10 seconds to go, and that's not going to be the wave for the wild card. Tatiana Weston Webb is now closing out this seat, picking up a win at the U.S. Open, brought her to fourth in the world, and she will move on into round three action here at the Roxy Pro. A challenging heat to get the connections. Tati simplified it with two-turn combos to make the big difference there. That she did. That she did. Uh, just nice, clean, smooth surfing. She didn't really get pushed uh, to the limits there, so she's got plenty of left in the tank. Glancing down the deck here, Jesse Mendez uh, looks pretty looks pretty happy with uh, the performance from Tatiana.